much and Sunny. I wonder what the future holds for for, for both of both of you. Um, I, I heard that maybe uh, Sunny said that this is the last ma mission to the space station. But uh, are you both willing uh, to return to space in the near future? Hey, we're going to the moon and Mars. That's the, that's 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 what that's what my plan is. I'll be right beside Butch if that's the case. Our next question is from Marvin Marshall with Space Report News. Hi, good morning, Crew 9. I'm Marvin Marshall from the Space Report News, a small independent outlet. I first want to thank you all for the sacrifice that you guys make for the betterment of humanity on a daily basis. Um, my question is for all three of you. What are some fun items that you guys pack to take on your mission? And Butch and Sunny, were you guys able to get any extra, you know, fun personal items up there? And thank you guys all again. It's an honor to speak with you, and safe travels home. Okay, some fun stuff. I actually brought a card game. I didn't think it would work, but I actually got all the crew members to play a game up here, so that was a lot of fun. I, uh, one fun thing I brought up was some sheet music of the Space Force song. Uh, I'm still active duty Space Force, and this was a way to connect uh, with my, my service. We have uh, naval aviator wings, naval aviator pilot wings, um, and you have a, the astronaut symbol in the center. It makes it naval aviator astronaut pilot. And I had a couple of those made in gold and the, then curled into a ring, and uh, I brought them for my dad, my brother, a lady that uh, did all of our scheduling, Michelle Beaujolais. Uh, I had previous missions. I had brought them up for my daughters and for my, my wife as well. So those are special. Something uh, uh, special to me is those, are those wings, a lot of trial and effort. Not just me, but by my whole family and others put a lot into getting those wings, and so they mean a lot. So be able to give those gifts back when we get back is, is a special thing. And we have a couple of social media questions for all of you before we close today. Claire on Instagram asks if there are any parts of space flight get harder as one ages that you might not expect. <laughs> he deferred to us. <laughs> um, actually, no. Space flight is wonderful. My joints don't ache, my back, my neck doesn't hurt. It's it's fantastic. All the all those aches and pains go away. Yeah, and I'll say sleep up here is pretty key. It's pretty awesome. So um, I, I like that aspect of it. So I wouldn't say that gets harder either. That's easy. I see what you did there, Nick. Nicholas on Instagram asks, you inspire me to dream big. What was the most exciting part of your mission? And let's hear from all three of you on this one. I can tell you there's a lot of responsibility in many ways up here, uh, many times, uh, very often. But the greatest responsibility that any of us have is when you put someone else in a spacewalking suit and they go out the door because you're responsible to make sure everything's done correctly and that that suit performs uh, to what it's capable of. I mean, it's a one-person space capsule is what it is. So when they come back in and you, you open that hatch and bring them in, that's the that's proudest moment for somebody. I, I think for me, um, I'm looking forward to the moment that's coming up where I am going to get to uh, bring Crew 9 home. And I think for me, is I'm classically go looking out the window, we have had some amazing aurora while we've been up here. The sun's been really active, and it, it really puts you sort of in your place and you recognize that the, the universe is extremely powerful and what little part we are of it, as Nick alluded to earlier, it's just spectacular. All right, well, those are all the questions we have for today. Thanks for all of your questions and your continued interest in NASA's SpaceX Crew-9 mission. The road to Crew-9's return begins when, with the launch of Crew-10 targeted for no earlier than March 12th. As you heard, there will be a handover period between Crew-10 and Crew-9, which will set the stage for Crew-9 to return home. In the meantime, you can follow updates on the Crew-9 mission at nasa.gov station. Nick, Sonny, and Butch, thank you for your time today, and we're looking forward to having you home soon. Thanks for joining. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you.
Thank you to all the participants. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communication. <laughs> 